Welcome to Luna's Strategy Workshop, where we'll dive into the game's mechanisms and learn the best strategies for hero upgrading with me, your faithful instructor, Luna. In Langrisser Mobile, some heroes gain access to a fusion power when they reach level 35. These powers grant heroes of the same alliance more power when fighting together in a battle. In this video, I'll introduce you to some great lineups for the Legion of Glory. I have four recommendations for the Glory lineup, each one suited to different stages or dungeons. My first recommendation is the 3 N Hero lineup, suitable for the early stages of the game, consisting of Elwyn, Matthew, Grenier, Cherie, Almeida, and Narm. The heroes in this lineup are easy to get. Cherie is a reward from the Path of Light event. The three N heroes are the protagonists of the main story. Narm is available in the super cheap Rose Gift Pack, and Elwyn can be summoned with Trinity Vouchers and Trinity Crystals obtained in dungeons. You can build a stronger lineup after summoning more SSR heroes. Speaking of which, let's have a look at the strongest Legion of Glory lineup, aka the Glory Dream Team, consisting of Ledin, Elwyn, Sherry, Liana, Chris, and Hein. This comprehensive lineup can handle most situations and performs well in positional warfare. However, as the overall speed of this lineup is slow and it lacks a powerful cavalry unit, its performance on larger maps is not ideal. Next, let me give you a detailed analysis of each hero in the Glory Dream Team. Let's check out Ledin first. As the tank of the team, Ledin absorbs a huge amount of damage and provides fusion power buffs to his teammates. In terms of soldiers, I recommend Phalanx of Zealots, with Amazon Champions as a backup. As for skills, I recommend Parry, Light Reflex, and Divine Guard, with Ledin's Fusion Power as a backup. In terms of class type, I suggest you upgrade Ledin to Templar. You'll need to spend two Rune Stones to upgrade Ledin to King and get his Glory Fusion Power. Next, let's look at Elwyn. As the infantry of the team, Elwyn will mainly be attacking the opponent's Lancer and supporting his teammates with his powerful fusion power buff. When it comes to soldiers, I recommend that you assign Elwyn Armored Infantry, Phalanx, or Dragoons. You can switch these up based on the opponent's lineup. My recommended skill set for Elwyn is DEF Break, Eternal Light, and Sword Soul with Roar and Sunslash as backups. And as for his class tree, I suggest you upgrade Elwyn to Hero. In order to finish the Goddess Trial and Aniki's Gym Dungeons more efficiently, you'll need to upgrade Elwyn to his Lancer Path to get DEF Break, requiring one Rune Stone plus another one for Phalanx, making a total of two Rune Stones. Next is Cherie. As a damage dealer, the most important role in the team, Cherie's job is to deal damage and kill enemy heroes with her outstanding offensive abilities. Angels are Cherie's recommended soldiers, and she should be equipped with the skills Healing, Legion, and Lightning, with Thunderbolt and Shadow Raid as backups. I suggest you upgrade Cherie to Dragon Master. You'll need to spend two Rune Stones to upgrade Cherie to High Master and get Shadow Raid. Now let's check out the healers. Liana's main role in the team is to heal and dispel debuffs, as well as to assist her teammates with her skill again. Shrine Maidens, Bishop, and Highland Warriors are her recommended soldiers. As for her skill set, I recommend Heal, Prayer, and Again. You can also consider upgrading her to Prophet 